This video will provide you instructions on how to use the AccuRite Wireless Refrigerator Freezer Thermometer. Discussion will include how to set up, configure, and troubleshoot your thermometer. If you have not used this thermometer before, it's encouraged that you watch this video in its entirety. However, if you wish, you can jump to different chapters by clicking on the links in the video description below. Let's get started. When you open the box, you should have the following items. The display unit. Two wireless sensors with silicone bands. One for the refrigerator and one for the freezer. And suction cups. Let's take a close look at the sensors. The sensor with a water droplet is the refrigerator sensor. The sensor with a snowflake is the freezer sensor. Each sensor has a suction cup for various mounting options. On the top of each sensor is a lid. Firmly press down on the rigid portion of the lid and slide it in a downward direction. When you remove the lid, you will see the battery compartment and an ABC switch. The switch is used to set and match the ID code on the display unit. This makes sure the units synchronize. Just above the battery compartment is a wireless signal indicator, which flashes when data is being sent to the display. This is the brains of it all. Let's start by looking at what's on the display. The readout is split at two halves. The left side displays data from the freezer sensor, and the right side displays data from the refrigerator sensor. Each side contains the following information freezer refrigerator icons, minimum maximum records, sensor signal strength, sensor low battery indicator, wireless signal indicator that flashes when a sensor has lost its display signal, alarm on indicator, and 24-hour or all-time record selection. At the top are two buttons, one for the freezer and the other for the refrigerator, which are used for alarm and record settings. At the bottom, there are four buttons, up and down arrow buttons for setting up preferences and the view all time records. Set button for alarm set preferences. Alarm button for turning alarm on and off. Turn the display over. At the top center, you will see a clip. If you put your finger in it and firmly press and lift, you will access the battery compartment. Inside the battery compartment is also an ABC switch, which the setting must match the sensors in order to synchronize. You will see multiple other ways for placement of the display. Two magnets to attach on a metal surface, such as a refrigerator or freezer. A keyhole mount above the battery cover, so you can hang the display unit. Two rubber pads for lying flat on a desk. And a fold-out stand for standing upright on a desk. Lastly, there is a button that will allow you to switch the display between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let's start by saying that you do not want to use cheap batteries. This includes using rechargeable or heavy-duty. Alkaline will work fine if you are going to use both sensors in a refrigerator. However, Healthcare Logistics recommends using lithium batteries. Not only will they provide the longest life, but will give you fewer problems, especially in much colder conditions. Installing the batteries is pretty straightforward. Starting with the display unit, just turn it over and lift off the battery cover. Then insert three AA batteries, making sure to follow the polarity. Then replace the cover. Installing the batteries and the sensors are just as easy. Just slide off the battery cover on the front of the units. Insert the batteries, paying attention to the polarity, then put the cover back on. Again, make sure to use lithium batteries in the freezer sensor. You can place the display unit virtually anywhere, as long as it is within 7 to 5 feet of the sensors and in a dry area free of dirt and dust. Again, you can use the magnets, fold-out stand, or the keyhole to mount. Both sensors would work in either the refrigerator or freezer. However, the default alerts are set based on the sensor's indicated use. Each sensor is equipped with a silicone band to securely attach to a wire shelf. Suction cups are also included that will allow you to attach a sensor to the interior surface. A suction cup should work well in a refrigerator but likely will not work well in a freezer. Again, make sure the sensors are within 7 to 5 feet of the display.
The display can be configured to set off an audible and visual alarm when temperatures exceed the preset minimum maximum range. An alert is triggered when a temperature is out of range for longer than 5 minutes. This prevents false alarms due to the refrigerator or freezer door being held open while new items are being loaded or unloaded. To enable alerts for both sensors, press and hold the alarm button for 5 seconds until a bell icon appears and flashes next to the current temperatures with the word on above it. To disable the alerts for both sensors, press and hold the alarm button again for 5 seconds. You will see the bell icon with a line through it flash on the display with the word off below it. To enable alerts for a selected sensor, select the sensor by pressing the snowflake or water droplet. In this demonstration, I will use the freezer sensor, so I will press the snowflake button. Within 5 seconds, I will press the alarm button. Right away, the bell icon will appear on the display next to the freezer's current temperature, with the word on above it. To disable an alert for a selected sensor, press the sensor button to disable the alert on, then, within 5 seconds, press the alert button to disable the alert. The alert icon on the display will change to a bell with a line through it, with the word off below it. The default temperature alarm settings for the refrigerator alarm are minimum 33 degrees Fahrenheit and maximum 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The default temperature alarm settings for the freezer alarm are minimum minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit and maximum 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Naturally, the alarm settings can be changed. The display has a temperature limit range of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to a maximum of 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Each sensor has a range of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. To adjust the temperature alarms, first select the sensor you need to adjust by pressing either the snowflake or water droplet button. Next, press the set button and the minimum temperature will begin to blink. Press the up or down arrow button to increase or decrease the minimum temperature alarm setting. Press the set button second time to confirm the minimum temperature alarm setting. The maximum temperature alert setting will begin to flash. Press the up or down arrow button to increase or decrease the maximum temperature alarm setting. Press the set button to confirm the maximum temperature alarm setting. When the thermometer is in normal operating mode, not in alarm setup mode, the display will show the highest and lowest temperature recordings from the last 24 hours. If you press one of the arrow keys, you will be able to view the highest and lowest recorded temperatures since the display unit was last reset or had the batteries removed. You can press an arrow key a second time to return to the 24-hour records or the display will return to this default setting after a few seconds. If the temperature is showing dashes, there is some sort of communication issue between the display and the sensors. The simplest thing to try first. Relocate the display and or the sensors. Make sure the sensors are within 75 feet of the display. If that doesn't work, try performing a hard reset of the device. Keep in mind that this will erase all data and custom settings. This is done by performing the following. Bring all three units together, side by side. Remove all the batteries from all the units. Reinstall the batteries in the display unit first. Reinstall the batteries into a sensor. Reinstall the batteries into the other sensor. The display should read the temperature from both sensors almost instantly. Remember that you will need to reconfigure any customized alarm setting. If the temperature is inaccurate, remember to use alkaline or lithium batteries. If the freezer temperature is below minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, it is essential that you use only lithium batteries in the freezer sensor. If the display screen is not working, check the batteries first. Also, verify the temperature is in operating range, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you feel this video has helped you, hit that subscribe button. If you need further assistance, please feel free to contact us using the information below. Also, feel free to check out the other video links.